Anatomy and Physiology 2, The Fetal Pig Digestive System. We're using a fetal pig digestive system dissection as a comparative approach to learning about the human digestive system anatomy. Some of the first structures we'll identify are the salivary glands, and to do so we need to remove the skin just posterior to the mouth. One of the landmarks I use here with the silver pin is the masseter muscle, which inserts on the ramus of the mandible and is usually pretty clear. Just posterior to that, with the blue pin, is a submandibular gland, which of the three glands is the most striking and most readily identifiable. I would use this as a landmark too. <clears throat> Below this gland is the sublingual gland, and above it is the parotid gland. So you'll want to use the submandibular gland as your reference. Shown here in the oral cavity is the tongue, as well as a hard palate and the soft palate. As we continue along the digestive tract, we encounter a structure that protects the windpipe from food while swallowing. It's called the epiglottis, and it's shown here with a green pin in it. We can also see up superiorly into the nasal cavity, a region called the nasopharynx. That's shown here, at least the opening leading into the nasopharynx, with the blue pin. The tract then continues down the neck through the esophagus, shown here with the purple pin. The esophagus lies just behind the windpipe or the trachea, shown with the green pin. The esophagus passes through the diaphragm and then leads into the stomach, shown here with the green pin. Another important organ that one can see here is the spleen with the silver pin. It has an important role in the lymphatic system. A large organ in the abdominal cavity that's very clearly identifiable is the liver, shown here with the silver-headed pin. The liver produces bile, which has an important role in digestion in terms of emulsifying fats. The bile can be stored in the gallbladder, which one can see if they pull back the liver, shown here with a silver-headed pin. When the bile is released, it flows through the cystic duct, the blue-headed pin, then the bile duct, the green-headed pin, then into the small intestine. Bile flows into the first part of the small intestine, which is called the duodenum, and that's shown here with the silver-headed pin. The final parts of the fetal pig digestive system that we'll cover are the small and large intestine. The small intestine has a relatively small diameter, whereas the large intestine has a large diameter and has a greenish-grayish hue. 